In a city written off by far too many, there are pockets of hope, more than you may think, and people who remind us that what they and this city need is a shot. Lifelong Detroit residents Willie Holly, Tanisha Martin, and Damon Love got a second chance, just like the city they love. Tanisha worked at Walmart for six years, Willie was a security guard, and Damon made auto parts for 15 years until he was laid off in 2008 amid the downturn. You really felt the decline of the auto industry. Yes, I felt it. I felt it uh, personally, my family. I was there for 15 years before I was laid off. Today they work here at Shinola, Detroit. Known best for its watches, Shinola opened its doors in 2012. I think the dream here is just new manufacturing opportunity to just do uh, more, you know, do different things uh, than the automotive industry. And it's just an opportunity for change. Ironically, Shinola's factory sits in a former General Motors building. It's something to show that Americans can do it too. You know, a, a lot of our pr product we get, we get from overseas but we're actually building everything here, you know, handmade. We don't have robots and machinery doing it for us. Yeah, I don't see any robots in here. We are the robots. <laughs> what does it mean to you to see new company, new industry in this city? In the city, it's really, it brings back a, like a, a vibe in your heart. Like, okay, maybe it is hope for the city of Detroit, you know, and the people for the city of Detroit. Like I said, I was born here. This is all I know. I just want to see the city do better because I know we can do better. We have done better. But it's a big and risky bet on the largest American city ever to go bankrupt. People knew it was on the brink. That's true, but that's part of why we came. We want, you know, we knew we wanted to do watches in America and we wanted to do it in a city where we can make a difference um, and create jobs. And so what better city than Detroit? The watches are made here, but all the parts aren't from Detroit or America. Some still come from Taiwan and Switzerland. It's the hope that one day it could all be from here. We realize that we're newcomers here and we don't try and stake claims that we've been here forever. We understand there's sensitivity around that too, like, oh, who do you think you are coming in and just taking over and putting your name on your products? Have you felt some of that? A little bit, definitely. There are some people who, you know, I understand, are a little skeptical, like, hang on, who are these guys? We're not saying that we're saving Detroit. Or, you know, honestly, Detroit has done tremendous work for us, and we are returning the favor. For a city that has lost well over half of its manufacturing jobs and population since the 1950s, this is not a panacea. Just over 300 people work here at Shinola in Detroit. But from talking to the folks here, it becomes very clear that it is hope, hope, and assigned to other companies with a critical message. We're not dead. We, we are alive and, and we're coming back stronger than before. Sometimes you have to be at the bottom in order to climb your way to the top. If we have the ability to say, hey, look, we've come here, we've done it, come on down, you know, take part in what's happening here, contribute to this great American city. Shinola expects to turn out 225,000 watches this year. Factory workers here make between $11.40 and $14 an hour. There's nothing like standing proud of something you did or you accomplished that people will tell you, oh, you're not going to do it. You're not going to be able to handle that. You're not going to be able to make it. And then you're standing strong still, yes, saying, I'm still here and I'm okay. What about people that say this city's best days are behind it? I think we have more best days to come. So what do you want to become here? I want to advance. I want to be one of the top wigs someday in Shinola. The big wig? Yes. Did you tell the big wigs that? I told them that all the time. <laughs> but it hasn't been without its challenges. The company has poured money into building Shinola up and isn't yet profitable. But so far they've proven that Detroit sells. What do you think Detroit can teach us all? Resilience. Definitely D don't give up, keep getting back up. That's an American spirit. You know, and, and it just lives and breathes here. We can build anything. Give it to us and, and give us time, we can build anything. Is this Detroit 2.0? Definitely, Detroit 2.0. We're, we're moving in a whole different direction. What's your dream here? What do you want to become? I see myself with an office. I see myself able to just in, be in the big meetings um, where my opinion really matters. I want to be one of the greats. And they want you to see this instead of this when you think of Detroit. Poppy Harlow, CNN, Detroit.